Welcome back to Turf Moor for the start of the second half. No changes from either side, incidentally. This switch playing their original formation, 4-1-4-1. As for Burnley, they're playing their rigid 4-4-2. As we get underway in the second half. 4-4-2 for Burnley has really served them well. When they had to play one up top against Leicester through South Volks's unfortunate injury, they did look aside out of uh, out of touch with themselves. Beautiful day in Links Lancashire. Sun is out there. We had a bit of rain in the air this morning. But the rain has subsided. The pitch is beautifully beautifully been prepared. It's half synthetic and half glass. And the pitch is looking good, Nick. Here's Sabatsi for Bart. And he's in behind. He's got Kiley now. On the follow up and he scored. Michael Kiley breaks to that left for the Clarets. Nine minutes into the second half. The breakthrough has arrived. Michael Kiley scores his third goal in third three games over, the, over this little period. Scored a good Friday against Blackpool. Scored a beauty on, on Easter Monday against uh, Wigan. And the third goal in as many games for him here. And it's an easier chance than the two he got previously. Higgs making the charge. Well saved from Gherkin. But from no more than seven yards out. Michael Kiteley snaps up the easiest opportunity he'll ever have in Clariton Blue. 1-0 to Burnley. 54 minutes gone. Danny Ings, the creator, his shot was parried away by Dean Gherkin and in came Kitely to score one of the easiest goals he'll ever score and puts Burnley ahead. It's his fifth goal of the season in actual fact, uh, Michael Kitely and it puts Burnley into the lead. And here is David Jones trying to get Ings away. It'll come here for our field but the whistle I think is gone and a three kick has been given. To Burnley, um, although I thought uh, there was an advantage should have been played because Alpha was making a, a promising burst there through the middle of the field. But the referee has brought it back, and the three kick it is. Dave Jones over the three kick, we're playing an hour. Now what can he cook up here? Trippier might fancy this one as well. Yeah, I think it is going to be Trippier. But it's too high. Goal kick. Trippier went down. Under challenge by Taylor. That's a foul by Taylor. It's a silly challenge. It's a stupid challenge there by Paul Taylor. On Kieran Trippier. Quite rightly, it's a three kick to Burnley. No need for the challenge there on, on Trippier. So, three kick to Burnley in a very, very promising position. Here comes the three kick, floated in, and Stanislas at the far post! And it's in there for Ming! Ings couldn't control it! Arfield with the shot, chance away! Oh, what a chance there for Burnley to make it two. And they just couldn't finish it. Fantastic opportunity there for the Clarets. They just failed at the very last there just to make it count. And in the end, it's which survived. Here's Tom Eaton. We're halfway through the second half. Here come it's which now with Murphy. Just couldn't control it. And here's a chance now for Arfield. It breaks to him on the far side. Good play this from... The Clarets at the moment. Here's a chance now for Marley. Play ball across to us. Danny Ings couldn't control. Couldn't got the control right, and then his shot was charged down, and it came back to Scott Arfield, who scored against Stips, which earlier on in the season, and unfortunately his follow-up was miscued badly wide. But to Danny Ings' credit, he's getting in the right positions. This was a three-kick Stanislas. Well, the ball hadn't gone out. The whole of the ball, remember, has to cross the byline to it to be a goal kick, or if it's between the posts, a goal. There'll be one for Hawkeye. That one. 
Did it go out or not? Attempts. 14 to Burnley, 7 to Ipswich. So it's improved a bit since half time. Burnley have had three attempts on target, Ipswich have won one. So the second half, as far as goal mark for opportunities and activities are concerned, has been a much better spectacle. Here's Ben Mee. Good first time cross, but again, Ipswich defending like Tigers now. They know they're in a game now. If they really want to think about auto getting into those playoffs, they need to start thinking a way of trying to catch Burnley out on the counter attack. Because tactically they haven't been sound enough offside against Ashley Barnes and Dean Marnie respectively at back. I think it was Dean Marnie. Burnley are preparing their second change of the uh, afternoon. Ross Wallace, who made such an impact at Ewood Park, that's got them the points there and a first victory against their local rivals for the first time in 35 years. He's going to be placed there at Scott Arfield. Who's had a who's had a quiet game by his own uh, standards? I have to say, look at all these t-shirts not bombing around the place. We are Premier League. It's unbelievable, an unbelievable achievement that Burnley have achieved. This fourth favourites, remember, for relegation. You know, it's been mentioned a few times now since they got promoted and how well they have played this season. It's just been a magnificent story. And I think the story's got its happy ending, in which it's so badly, badly deserved and ba so badly, badly uh, needed. Was David Moyes' former club Man United start off tonight on against Norwich City? Ryan Giggs has been put in temporary charge, by the way. Uh, Haymouth's ball into the path of uh, Dean Gherkin. We're inside the last 20 minutes here at Turf Moor. 1 0 to Burnley. It's a ditch which side that, quite frankly, have been devoured of ideas. Here's Paul Green, stopped there by Stanislas, and here's a chance for Ben Mee. Charged down by Paul Taylor, and that's kept, been kept in. And Taylor now has possession. Taylor now on the left hand flank. Ball back towards Chambers. Goalkeeper's there, bravely, because the new boy was flying in there. And he, uh, <laughs> he uh, took that very cleanly there, the goalkeeper, under under a very great deal of pressure there, but uh, well played. Here's Stanislas. Wallace. That's a good intelligent ball to Dean Marnie. Danny Ings off the crossbar! Should have been 2-0 there. Danny Ings getting into the position there. He slid in magnificently. And unfortunately for the 25 goal man, just hit the underside of the bar and he bounced away. Beautiful move there involving Stanislas initially. Then Ross Wallace, Dean Marley bursting the gut to get down that far side, side. And a beautiful cross, just like he did for Ashley Barnes on Monday. But unfortunately for Danny Ings, his sliding effort rebounded off the crossbar. And Burnley, you have to say, have wasted a great opportunity there. But to be fair to Ings, he was unlucky. And uh, an Ipswich player has gone down injured, and it's uh, Scoos. He injured himself uh, in this challenge here with Dean Marnie. He played the ball, Scoos, actually, to be fair. Marnie came in a little bit late. He was unlucky there, Marnie, with the bring him down. And uh, obviously, they've had to stop the play, so he can receive treatment. Means he'll have to go off the field, no doubt about it. Well, I've been, it's been a very enjoyable game. Second half has been a lot better as a spectacle, almost certainly. And this was the move again. Danny Ings hitting the crossbar. Oh, should have scored. It remains 1 0. It's a proud of which which town. They've got to turn up the pressure now in the next 11 minutes plus stoppage time. They're going to get a point out of this game. And just dampen the Burnley celebrations a little bit. Williams. 
Couldn't control it. He'll come back for Creswell. Creswell now trying to find Green that time, and he was pulled down. The former Derby man. It's a three kick in a very dangerous position. Mike Duff just going through the back of him there. Didn't really need to make that challenge, Mike Duff, and he knows it. And it's which here have a golden opportunity to get themselves back into this game. Smith has come forward from the back. Berry's there too. And it could be Paul Taylor or young Aaron Creswell. It's Paul Taylor with a three kick. Oh, what a good save! What a good save that was from Tom Heaton, keeping the score at 1-0. And that's the best chance that Ipswich have carved out. A superb three-kick from Paul Taylor, the substitute. It was going into that corner, going into the net. It was going beyond the, certainly going inside that near post. But Tom Heaton threw himself at the ball, threw himself away to his right and turned the ball out for a corner. And it's nodded away by Trippier. Well, it's which very, very close to getting the equaliser there. Through that fella. Here he is with the throw. Creswell. Faced by Trippier here. Back to Paul Taylor once again. Taylor now trying to twist past Wallace and Trippier, but he got past Wallace, but not past Trippier. Free kick to Burnley. Wallace is the player down. Referee has tried to referee this as sensibly as he possibly can. And it's going to be Williams here who's going to go in the book. He's going to be the second uh, Ipswich player in the book. Playing the 82nd minute of this uh, game. So Jonathan Williams into the book. Barely have a free kick. Well, it's which are now of eight minutes to save their skins. It's a foul. Now, can Berry get this ball forward as we approach the last knock into the game? Headed only half away, and the ball in towards Frank Newbury, who controls it, but it's over the top of the crossbar, and it just sums up it's which town's afternoon in uh, more or less a nutshell. Fairly really didn't clear that lines properly, it came to new play there, good control with the chest but in or oh, good control first time now and then just couldn't keep his shot down. So we're into the last knock ins the last few seconds of the game. Here's Gherkin. Can it switch save themselves? Get a point at least uh, in their away campaign with a bit of a smile. It doesn't look as if they're going to get in the playoffs this year. But they are going to achieve a target that Mick McCarthy set for them. That was to a, uh, certainly improve on their final position last season, which they did very comfortably. Chambers with the throw, should be it and comfortably is. And that should be that. As far as the, the game is concerned, Burnley are going to get. Burnley are going to get 91, 92 points now. There's the whistle. It's all over. So Sean Knight's side have won. They've won the game one 0 Burnley nearly promoted Burnley, of course. It's which is dream of the playoffs dies. The goal came eight minutes into the second half. Michael Cartley set up from Danny Ings after his shot was parried away from Ger by Gherkin, but only into the path of. Uh, but only to the path of Michael Cartley, who couldn't miss. Mick McCarthy's side now out of the playoff race. And Burnley now have got one more game to play next week against Reading. And it's all over as far as their being a football league club is concerned. And then they can look forward to life in the Premier League. Full time here at Turf Moor. Burnley 1, Ipswich Town 0. Here at a jubilant Turf Moor.